Day four of the Pamela Phillips murder trial. The prosecution now trying to establish a motive, saying Phillips was a money-hungry ex-wife who murdered Gary Triano to collect two million in life insurance to support her lavish lifestyle. Not on your sides, Valerie Cavazos has been in court today and joins us now. Well, Phillips was used to fancy cars and expensive homes. The prosecution painted Phillips as an ex-wife who was in desperate need of money, living beyond her means, and she was looking for a new husband. Phillips moved to this duplex in Aspen and hired this man, Kevin McDonald, as a live-in caretaker for her two children. He testified that Phillips struggled to get her astrology business, Star Babies, off the ground. Her mail order company was not generating any income. Her rent at the time, $2,500 a month. Her money dwindling fast. She said, that, Kevin, I'm, I'm, I'm down to my last $60,000. What should I do? And I said, get a job. The defense said Phillips did get a job later. Did you later find out that, in fact, she had been working um, for the Heinz Corporation and that she was a real estate agent? Her connections with the very wealthy ran deep. On the stand, Hugh Bancroft, as in the Bancroft family who owned Dow Jones. Phillips had been friends with his wife, Joy. The prosecution said after Triano's death, Phillips moved into this million-dollar home and remodeled the interior. Bancroft testified that he loaned her money. You loaned her $60,000. Your wife was paying premiums and co-signing loans. And Ms. Phillips was looking to, to marry rich. Yeah. Now, Phillips was not looking to marry Bancroft. They were just friends. Uh, McDonald also testified that Phillips was also looking for a new rich husband. Once again, the prosecution trying to establish a motive for murder. Reporting from downtown, Valerie Cavazos, Kagan 9 on your side. Valerie.